One morning, Henry was feeling very sorry for himself. Sometimes he could pull trains, but other times he felt like he had no strength at all. I suffer dreadfully and no one cares. Oh rubbish, Henry! That's ridiculous! You're not even working hard enough! Don't listen to him, Henry. You work just as much as everybody else. Sir Toppenhead spoke to him too. What's wrong with you, Henry? You've got lots of new parts and new paint too, but they've done you no good. If we can't make you feel better, we must get another engine instead of you to do the work. Oh no. This made both Henry and Fluttershy very sad. Later in the day, Sir Toppenhat was waiting when Henry came to Nafford Station. He had taken off his top hat and coat and put on his old engine driver's uniform on. Henry did manage to start easily, but Fluttershy wasn't satisfied. I'm afraid Henry is a bad steamer, but not in his behavior. What I mean is that I build up his fire each morning, but it always doesn't give enough heat. Henry tried his best to keep going, but it was no good. He didn't have enough steam left. So we came to a stop at Wellsworth Station. Oh, poor Henry. Oh, dear. I shall have to go away. All he could do now was to go slowly onto the station siding, and Edward and Applejack took charge of the train. <whistles> Sir Toppen and Fluttershy went on discussing Henry's firing troubles. What do you think is wrong with Henry, Fluttershy? Well, sir, I think it might be that our coal supply is bad. We've had a poor lot lately, and today it's a lot worse. The other engines can manage be easily because they have bigger fireboxes. Henry's is so tiny that it can't make enough heat. Hmm. Perhaps if he had Welsh coal, he'd be a different engine. Welsh coal, sir? It is rather expensive to import from Wales to Sodor, but I believe Henry must have a fair chance. I'll make arrangements to have a special order made right away. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you.
When the Welch Coal arrived a few days later, Fluttershy was very excited for her favorite green engine. Now we'll show them your stuff, big guy. She carefully made his fire, putting large lumps of coal like a wall around the outside. Then the glowing middle part of the fire was covered with smaller lumps. You're spoiling my fire! Just wait and see, Henry. We'll have a roaring fire just when we want it. Fluttershy was right. When Henry reached Nafford Station, the water was boiling nicely that he had to let off steam. How are you, Henry? I feel fine. Have a good fire going, Fluttershy? Never better, and he has plenty of steam. No record breaking, please. Don't push him too hard, Fluttershy. Oh, don't worry, sir. Henry won't need pushing. I'll have to hold him back. Henry had a lovely day. He had never felt so good in his life. He wanted to go faster, but Fluttershy wouldn't let him. Easy, big boy. There's plenty of time left. They arrived a few minutes early at Ellsbridge Station. Moments later, Thomas and Twilight puffed in. Where have you been, Lazy Bones? I can't wait for dawdling tankages like you. Goodbye. Well, bust my buffers. Have you girls ever seen anything like it? Both Annie, Clarabelle, and Twilight agreed that they never had. 